It's summertime and that means kids are out of the classroom, but does it also mean crime is heating up? It's a combination you may have heard before, summer and juvenile crime. But is it true? News 10's Rondrell Moore has some numbers that may surprise you. It's game day here at the Terre Haute North Little League field, the Indiana Summer Games. Jariah Threlfall is the man in charge, and he loves everything about it, including what it does for the kids. I have four kids myself, and it's true. You know, idle, sometimes idle hands get in a lot of trouble, and uh, you want to keep kids, keep kids busy with positive things. But not every child is doing it like these inspired athletes. Some are on the other side of the legal fence. Police say the 16-year-old male used the stolen car to smash the other. You've heard those stories, kids taking off school and taking on crime. So has he. So we asked, is there actually a trend here? Over the past, we've found that to be true. I've noticed here the past few years, though, it's starting to decline. That's right. Numbers for juvenile crimes are going down. Not just in the summer, but overall. Check this out. 275 kids arrested this year in Vigo County so far. That's down 20% from this time last year. In fact, nationally, juvenile crime numbers have gone down. So why is that? One possible reason. More summer activities. We've noticed that more and more groups are forming and having more activities for the kids. Meaning you can find the answer right back at home plate. And Jariah isn't surprised. And I could believe that because you give kids something to do, uh, some purpose, and it uh, keeps them doing positive things. Some positives that will help keep them far from the game of crime. That is, unless you count a few stolen bases. In Terre Haute with photojournalist David Essex, Rondrell Moore, News 10. You can learn more about the Indiana Summer Games by going to our website.